Okay, so it's absolutely normal for a parent to feel several emotions when you have a child with special needs. Shame, guilt, denial, anger, these are all several phases that any parent goes through. But what is most important for a parent to remember, and uh, I went through all these feelings myself, uh, why me? And how can I talk about this to my family? What do I say to everybody when I step out with my son, who is currently 19 and who has Down syndrome? I've gone through all these phases myself. But the one thing that brought me back to reality and kept me grounded, and I think is really important, is if I don't advocate for my son and get him what he wants, who's going to do that? So you have to look at it this way. If you're in a court uh, fighting a case and your lawyer bails out on you, who's going to help you win uh, and put forth your case? So for your child, parents are like lawyers for them. You have to advocate for them. You have to speak uh, the truth. We all know that there are two people that you shouldn't be lying to. If you went to your doctor and lied about something that is ailing you, your doctor will never be able to cure you and make you better. So just like that, for your child with special needs, don't be afraid to speak the truth. A person who judges you because of your child, uh, I don't think there is a greater fool out there. Uh, our children are who they are no matter what form, shape or size they come in. And for any parent, their child is their proudest, uh, I mean, uh, proud, uh, position of pride. So it's very important and it's natural that you have a lot invested into that child. But their future is at stake. If you do not speak the truth, if you do not go out there and tell the therapist or tell the doctors all your concerns and reveal, um, I think you would be doing your child a huge uh, disfavor and you wouldn't really be putting their best interest first. Also look at it this way. Uh, if your fist is closed, everybody's curious about what's inside this fist. But the minute you open it and reveal that there's really nothing, it's just a fist like anybody else's. The palm is same as anybody else's. The curiosity is all gone. So if you're worried about your family, if you're worried about your neighbors, if you're worried about what's it going to be like when I step outside, just remember, let me open my fist, reveal that my child has autism, or my child has cerebral palsy, or my child has Down syndrome. The minute you let it out there, you've set yourself free, and remember, you're doing your child a huge favor. The day I started walking out in the open and telling people, yes, my son has Down syndrome, I saw the acceptance was greater from family, from friends, and most importantly, from within myself. I was able to do more for him that day beginning on than any other time.